In today's theme park experience, we are visiting Ionia, a land from the wonderful game of League of Legends. It is the land of harmony and nature, now turned theme park. If you're a fan of League of Legends, you're not going to want to miss out on this one. So stay tuned and let's get right on into it. Hey yo, my Planicoaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight Contest Edition. And today we're looking at Ionia, a mini park created by Lucky Dude. And here they say, Hey Johnny, this is my submission for the mini park contest. Thanks for hosting it yet again. The park is based on the region of Ionia from the game League of Legends. Ionia is a land that lives in harmony with nature. The first lands is Ionia, is also called a home to the ninja and Bastea human-animal hybrids. The virtues of the Ionians are serenity, patience, wisdom, and a sense of wisdom living within everything. The park contains two roller coasters, a log flume, in addition to three flat rides and various shops. Have fun exploring the red, vast plains, the forests of Ionia that are home to the Vastea that climb the plateaus where the ninja have built their temple. Cheers, lucky dude. All right, this sounds absolutely amazing. I have recently played League of Legends Ruined King, and uh, I'm a huge fan of that game. We'll talk more about it in just a second. Let's get right on into the episode. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at Ionia, land of the Vastea. And uh, as I mentioned just a second ago, I played uh, League of Legends uh, Ru uh, Ruin King, which is a League of Legends story that takes uh, the kind of the engine and gameplay of uh, Battle Chasers Night War. Same developer, same engine, same tools. And that was one of my favorite games, um, favorite RPGs. And Ari is one of the most recent characters I've gotten in the game. And she is a Vastea, and definitely one of my favorite characters so far. And you hear tales of the land of Ionia, and I believe Yasuo, who is a uh, samurai ninja, comes from there as well, even though he's not a Vastea. Uh, pretty cool. And I gotta say, playing the Ruined King has given me a vast appreciation for the League of Legends lore and universe. And seeing a little bit of Ionia here is actually really quite cool so if you're whether you're a fan of league of legends or a fan of the ruined king game hopefully this um hits home with you just a little bit but it does feel like we are in ionia here and i did do a little bit of research and backstory while i was playing ruined king because i wanted to find out more about the characters and where they came from and I started diving deeper into the League of Legends uh, universe and lore, and I was like, man, like, I'm not into MOBAs, but I love the League of Legends kind of universe. So there's another one on the, the Netflix I gotta go watch, Arcane, and I hope they come up with more games that aren't based off the MOBA, because I love the League of Legends universe now. And uh, if you guys want a good taste of it, I highly recommend picking up Ruined King. Anyways, that's a little backstory of my knowledge of the universe here. We're going to go on Ways of the Winds, a um, flying coaster. And there's a look at all the stats there. Let's get right to it.
Wow, freaking we! An absolutely beautiful flying coaster soaring off, soaring over all these red trees. I love the red grass. The environment's looking really nice. Feeling the vibes of Ionia. Really nice stuff. And we have one massive coaster in the background. I think we'll try to find the log flume first because kind of want to save the best attraction for last. But yeah, this is looking good. Uh, speaking to the League of Legends Ruined King game, if you've uh, played it, leave a comment down below what your favorite team combo was and why. I had a really hard time with this because Ilawi was my favorite character from the beginning of the game right up until I started finding different combinations. And I found that uh, she's just the best tank slash healer. But Braum always felt a little bit behind in the tanking. He didn't ever have enough overcharge. But as soon as you mix him with Misfortune and Ari, he becomes an unstoppable machine. So my combo in Ruin King now is Braum, Misfortune, and Ari. The Vastea of Ionia. And uh, I've been loving that combo. And the characters. So I'm, I'm a big fan of League of Legends universe now. Almost was tempted to play the MOBA. I just don't like MOBAs. It's just a personal preference. I'm not really into it. I do like competitive games, though. This is a very nice interior. I like certain competitive games. Like, I feel like my uh, getting older, I'm not as, uh, I don't know, as energetic. <laughs> it's just to be completely honest. Patience. <laughs> and... <laughs> I have a lot more patience, but uh, I'm very impatient when it comes to PvP. <laughs> I don't have the best hand-eye coordination, which is funny because I still play StarCraft time to time at a fairly competitive rate. Uh, I, I usually play at a Diamond League level, but I uh, recently started playing Protoss in StarCraft, and I hit uh, Master League right out of my placement matches, and I've never played them before. <laughs> And I was like, oh, Protoss seems easy. <laughs> oh, wow. Anyways, uh, here we are at the Log Flume, ladies and gentlemen. Patience is a virtue. And uh, just for the creator's sake, we are going to turn off the MXAO because we don't want um, the water to look so transparent. And I'll cut to it when it's ready. <laughs> I really love this idea here, having the restaurant look over at the logs going by. We saw MKP Nimzel do that um, in a few sections of one of his park, and I fell in love with that concept. So I really like what you did there. We're going to have to go up to that restaurant and uh, have a look at the logs passing by. Anyways, I'll mute the mic and let you guys enjoy the log flip.
Wow, that oh, probably one of my favorite log flumes throughout this contest. Uh, I, I really, really love the integration of these buildings, you know. We didn't really feel like we we're going through the environment as much as we were going through the buildings. Um, uh, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> um, yeah, this integration, look at this. It's going over and through the bridges, interacting with the coaster. It's all built in. We go through the buildings, around the buildings. Uh, I really love and appreciate this little kind of mini dam here with some waterfalls. It makes it just so much more interesting to travel through. If I were to give one suggestion, I wish there was some music playing on it. And specifically, League of Legends Ionia music. Uh, usually with video games, nothing is copyright claimed because they want you to play their games on Twitch.tv and make YouTube videos. So generally speaking, when you play a video game other than maybe Nintendo, uh, you, your, your chances of getting a copyright claim are pretty slim to none. And that is why when we did the video game coaster contest in the past, we said like, Hail Mary, just use whatever music you want. And that is because um, games generally make the music themselves you know that now there are games like gta and um, fallout who buy copyright rights for the music for their radio stations and most people who play those games turn the radio off um, but those are very specific examples where you know they bought the rights to a certain song borderlands tends to do it for their like intros and like their cinematics and stuff so, I think you're safe in most cases. Those are like the one-off cases. But uh, as I've been playing Ruin King, I've been be, uh, a big fan of the League of Legends kind of soundtracks and music. And Ionia would have some really good ones, I would imagine. It would just help immerse me so much more. So, keep that in mind for next time, guys. It's not really a critique, but a suggestion. Because uh, it would just lend aid to the park so much more than the Planet Coaster music. I do hear some Oriental uh, World's Fair music playing in some of the areas. So that's that's definitely a good thing. I wanted to head up to the food court. I believe this is the way. Nice vista points. Let's take a look at this. Beautiful. I really like what you did with the architecture here. The Ionia architecture. It really helps um, make it feel distinct and not just a gen generic oriental. I like it. Um, one critique I would have made that came to mind while we were on that log flume, the Ionian characters themselves, the Vastea, uh, would probably be quite easy to pull off in Planet Coaster. I would say easy, it'd still be a challenge, but um, their main feature is their triple foxtail. So if you can imagine like tails from Sonic the Hedgehog with the triple tail, the Vastea have like a three tails, maybe more tails than that. I don't know, maybe five. Um, but they have like a bunch of fox tails that they use in combat and they have little um, fox ears. That's kind of their distinguishing features. They're not quite furries. Uh, they're, they're humanoid with, you know, little ears and fox tails. So... I, I quite like the characters, and I think it would have been nice to see a few Vastea throughout your park. Uh, maybe a Vastea statue or something. Um, that would have been really nice. Kind of one of the things that I think League of Legends does so well, and I've become a huge fan of, are their characters. I think they have some of the best characters in the industry, the best character concepts. I really love their um, character design. 
which makes me go, I really hope Riot Forge does more RPGs like the Ruined King, commission or team up with other um, RPG studios. What I'd really like to see is an MMO from Riot Forge, and I think there was a rumor that they were working on one. Uh, I hope it takes place in the League of Legends universe, though. Imagine creating your own Vastea. Um, there's different places throughout the uh, universe. Yeah, so the Ruined King takes place in Bilgewater, which is like kind of like the piratey area of um, League of Legends. And I think that was the best place to start off because it has so much fantasy. Uh, you have Gangplank as like kind of your antagonist, and uh, you get to go through the, the crazy contraption of Bilgewater. That is going to be a challenge I set out for someone in this community who is a League of Legends fan. There's a look at the coaster stats if you guys like to see them. I would like to see somebody do a Bilgewater theme park. I think that would be absolutely insane. Uh, I will 100% feature that. Go do your research on Bilgewater and make it happen, so on. And maybe uh, Lucky Dude is the one to do it because they've already done Ionia. All right, let's uh, check out this main attraction. I really love the composition of the scene here coming in. The different colors that are popping, the green highlights that you put on these buildings here with the wood trim, the dark wood panels, a little bit of that dark beige as well. It's coming together really, really nicely. And in fact, I think I forgot to turn MXAO back on. I did. That should help this area pop just a little bit more. And as we can see, this angle here this looks phenomenal and we get that ionian architecture up here i want to see if this park has any nighttime lighting not a whole lot i was contemplating whether we should ride that coaster again at night i'm not sure in terms of ionia artwork if uh you know if they would light up magically at night i don't i haven't really seen a whole lot of artwork which is why i've been enjoying this park so much in terms of um what an Ionia area looks like, because when I was playing Ruin King, it mostly takes place in Bilgewater. Maybe maybe they have a, a magical Avatar-style forest somewhere on Ionia. I'm not too certain, to be honest. Either way, I think we should ride that coaster once again in cinematic, so we get a good look at the whole park. I think that'll be fun. Wow, beautiful views of the park. 
You know, the more we talk about, you know, the League of Legends universe, this being a, um, a theme park based in Ionia, it makes me really like the idea of doing a video game coaster contest. Uh, not coaster contest, park contest. We've done the coasters in the past, but the problem is that we don't really give you enough time to flesh out the surrounding area. Uh, you know, we put you on a constraints of, we don't give you as much time as we do with the parks. And with that, we generally just get coasters that are themed around a game. But what would be cool is having a park themed around a universe of a game. Imagine doing a whole coaster or park inside of a, a Mass Effect Citadel or uh, a post-apocalyptic uh, Fallout theme park, or again, a League of Legends in Bilgewater, <laughs> much like this Aeonia one here. Uh, there's so many endless ideas, a Mega Man universe or a Sonic, and you know, what would that be like to explore a video game universe theme park from your favorite game series of all time assassin's creed there's so many choices out there that would be just amazing and you would be able to rip off a lot of the music and one of the biggest critiques in this contest so far has been people keep forgetting to put ambient music and ambient speakers around and that would be one of the enforced rules for such contests is uh, you have to have ambient music and music on your rides that could be a really really sick competition in my opinion what do you guys think of that idea leave your comments down below and what did you think of this theme park oh i'm missing some back areas what did you think of this theme park um did it hit the league of legends ionia theme just right would you do anything differently i personally do not know enough about ionia to comment on it the guardian of balance um, this is a really nice flat ride here. I like the way it's located. And I'm gonna just take a, a last look around some of these uh, off-beaten paths. And make sure I didn't miss anything, but I think we got a pretty good look at the whole park from the different coaster perspectives and uh, viewpoints that we checked out. They did say there was two coasters and a uh, water ride, so we know we didn't miss anything there. They said there was... I think they said that there was... Um, Three flat rides. Did I only see the one? Let me check the ride list. Apparently there's a Helion here. Oh, I got cinematic shots of this. It's so well integrated that I didn't even think it, I thought it was a piece of artwork. Oh, wow. So <laughs> here's the queue. Very nice queue as well. This here is actually a ride, but nobody's going on it for some reason. Is it closed down? No, it's not. There's two people waiting to go. Yeah, look at this. And I do recognize this logo a little bit. Um, the Vastea character Ari that I play with in Ruin King has a lot of like fox looking abilities with fire. They're really um, one with fire magic. Maybe you could have implemented a little bit more of that into your um, rides, the fire element. And where's the last one? These, these rides are so way of the wind. That's the coaster. Defiant Dance. Of oh, this? Wow. Okay, I gotta give praise to these flat rides. They're so well integrated, I didn't even think they were rides. I thought they were centerpieces. I thought this all was for the uh, coaster here. In fact, it is the Defiant Dance. Look at that. Great use of whatever this is called, the Elixir, Psychola. Some top-notch ride skins. So well integrated, I, I almost missed them as uh, part of the park integration, when in fact they are there. And uh, I think you did great choices on them as well. Those uh, flat rides are elevated to a whole new level. I love that. Log Flume was absolutely sensational. Main coaster was incredible. Uh, this coaster was also very fun. Very top-notch stuff. The only critiques would be I would have loved some Aeonia slash um, League of Legends music and then maybe a, a couple Vastea basic shape characters or TMTK if you were able to find someone to do that for you. But maybe for next time. And I would still love to see a Bilgewater. Let's get the whole freaking universe built, you guys. Because <laughs> League of Legends, while some people love it, some people hate it, we cannot deny that they have some of the best character art and um, environmental arts out there in terms of lore and backstory. It's great. All right, everybody. That was uh, Ionia Mini Park created by Lucky Dude. A very, very nice park. I loved everything about it. Uh, what did you guys think? Leave your comments down below. And that is going to do it for me in today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.